Steam is an amazing platform. So here's the top six settings you should change to get the most out of your client. You would like to allow others who are on the same network as you to download Steam games directly from your computer rather than the internet. Open Steam and go to settings, go to downloads, scroll down and enable game file transfer over local network, and then choose Steam friends. Now anybody on the same network as you that is friends with you on Steam can download directly from your computer. This tends to give better speeds for downloads as well as doesn't use up your internet if you're on a limited data plan. While we're in the downloads tab, if you would like to have your downloads show up in megabytes per second or kilobytes per second instead of megabits and kilobit, make sure this option here display download rates in bits per second is disabled. This will show megabytes and kilobytes which relates to file size rather than internet speed, which is easier to understand for most people. If you would like to have a permanent FPS counter while you're in any Steam game, choose the in-game tab. Under in-game FPS counter, select the option you would like the FPS counter to be located at. Uh, personally, I like top left. And if you would like, select the in-game FPS counter high contrast color, which turns it to a green color, so it's a bit easier to see. Um, you're welcome to enable that. You don't have to. If you're like me and you have multiple drives in your system, for example, one for my operating system and essential programs, and the other for my storage, including my Steam games, what you can do is select storage, select the drop down, and select the storage drive you plan to use or you are using for your Steam games. You can then click on the Meatball menu. Yes, that is what it's called. And select Make Default. It's going to put a star next to the drive, in my case, next to the D drive, not the C drive. What that's going to do is allow you to automatically install to your D drive when you go to install any Steam game. You won't have to change the pathing for the game install. You'll just be able to click Next and Install. If you happen to have some games on another drive that you wish to move to your storage drive, Select back on that drive, in my case C drive, and I have the Steamworks Common Redistributables. What you can do is click on the box and click Move, and automatically it's selected the D drive as your default, and you can click Move. Now I'm not going to because this isn't a game, however any games you want to move you can select them all at once using the tick box and move them all at once. Just be aware the bigger the game, the longer it will take to move, just let it do its thing. These games will then show up under your D drive when completed. To share Steam games or have Steam games shared with you, both sharer and the receiver need to be logged into the same computer. This computer is the main computer for the person that is receiving the games. So if your friends are sharing the games with you, your friend needs to log into your computer. After your friend has logged into your computer, or if you are sharing games with someone else, you have logged into theirs, open Steam and go to the Family tab. From here, go Authorize Library Sharing on this device, Enable, and your friend's account will show down here. For me, it says no eligible accounts because I have not had anyone else log in to their Steam account on my computer, but it'll have a little tab here. You can click a slider. Just enable that and log out of your Steam account. Your friend can then log back into their Steam account and they will have your library. Bear in mind, you will only be able to play games off of their library when they are not online, as it says here under the family library sharing. To confirm that your games are being shared or you're having games shared with you, click manage and under user account name, your account should be there with authorize as you see up here next to it. This is also where you would go if you wish to revoke access to an account you have shared with.